hello 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 and welcome back so the last time I grilled um, I grilled um, pork shoulders on my stove on my stove top but I'm gonna do the chicken grilled in the oven and finished on the stove top okay so for our grilled chicken I am be it's gonna be a chicken on the stick anyways I'm going to be using chicken breasts. I have washed them. You need to wash them. They've dried out a bit. My bell peppers and my onion for my garnishing. My seasoning blend, of course, my... Of course, I have my adobo seasoning. My sticks, chopstick or whatever sticks. A little paprika, bell pepper, um, crushed red pepper. I like it spicy. But if you don't, you can omit the uh, pepper, steak seasoning, salt, hot sauce. And you can also omit this if you don't want it. Or if you're not doing it the keto way, you can add maybe barbecue sauce or any other thing. So I'm going to dice up my chicken breast. I'm going to cut them in cubes, cubes, cubes. I would normally have just put these things on the steak after seasoning, put it on my grill and use some oil on it and you get that smoke and everything. But because I'm doing it indoors, I'm going to grill my chicken first in my oven before I continue with the process. For my seasoning, I'm gonna add about um about half a teaspoon of salt. Why I do that is because this steak seasoning has salt, the adobo has salt, so I need to be careful. About a teaspoon of steak seasoning, half a teaspoon, I don't want much, of uh, paprika, one tablespoon level of my crushed pepper, about a teaspoon of, <clears throat> about a tablespoon of adobo seasoning, my hot sauce. I just want to give it some zest don't really need it it's optional and a tablespoon of mayo you can use your homemade mayo this is not you gonna foil my pan put my chicken in and allow it to sit for a while to marinate I'm not gonna start grilling immediately I'm just gonna allow it to marinate for about an hour or two I'm 
but this is my this is my chicken. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'll put it on bake first at 350 and then after a while I will come back and put it on grill. My chicken my chicken is ready. I grilled it when I started grilling it, it brought out water. So I grilled it until all the water just dried up and that was that. I have basically just oil at the bottom. Now I will cut up my vegetable for garnishing. I will now start assembling it. You will want to start with your pepper at the bottom. Followed by some onions. I like adding onions because it makes it taste like, um, like uh, when I eat it with the onions, it makes it taste like the suya kind of, um, You want to put the big ones at the bottom and the smaller ones towards the end.
there are two ways you can you can enjoy this thing if you're eating it immediately you can just make it and eat it with the vegetables fresh but if you're gonna keep it for some time you want to wrap it up and put it in the fridge and then when you're ready to eat it you just put it on the grill or in the oven for a few minutes before um, you you start uh, using it and warm it up you know so thank you for watching this is how i make my um, grilled chicken on the stick grilled chicken barbecue chicken this looks so good sometimes um you might want to put the raw chicken like this and grill it but i don't really think the chicken really 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 cooks properly for my liking or absorbs enough um absorbs enough um uh, seasoning so i prefer like um baking or grilling or cooking my chicken first and then i put it on the steak and then i put it back into the oven or on the grill thank you for watching thank you for watching if you like this video like subscribe share and i will see you in my next video bye